Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today we're going to do a detailed review on the Roku wireless speakers and the Roku wireless subwoofer. So I've done an unboxing on both of those and we're also going to do, I'm going to have them hooked up to the Roku Stream Bar Pro. So I've also got a detailed review on the Stream Bar Pro. There's the box for it down there. That has a Roku player built into it. Comes with a remote control, that's what we'll be using today. And it's also a sound bar. But when I did my review on that sound bar, it needed more. It needed a subwoofer, and I thought it needed some extra speakers. So Roku does sell two extra speakers and a subwoofer. I'm gonna be comparing them to my Yamaha receiver that I'm currently using for my home entertainment. That Yamaha receiver right there, and it's got some clips, speakers, and a really big subwoofer. That whole system costs about $900 but it's kind of big and cumbersome and I'm wanting to get away from using that and maybe I'm hopefully gonna to try to go to a sound bar and a wireless subwoofer and Roku wireless speakers. So the first part of this video is I've already got them unboxed. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hook them up. So I've already got the sound bar hooked up to the TV, it's working, but we need to connect the wireless speakers and the subwoofer to the sound bar. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. First, we're gonna do the wireless speakers first and then we'll do the subwoofer. First thing we gotta do is plug in the speakers. So each speaker, all it has is a cord you plug in. It's just got a 110 outlet on it. We're gonna go plug this into a, a, an outlet. Okay, and I'm following the directions step by step. So we plug them in. Now we're gonna press and hold the home button on the Roku remote. To set up your device is powered on. Using your Roku okay, remote. Okay, so the, the, the speakers button. will start talking to you after you. Follow the instructions. After you plug them in. Okay, so we're going to press and hold the home button for five seconds. And nothing happened. Let's do it again. Okay, so I had to do it the second time. It brought up this special menu. So now I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna hit this, the, the red, the arrow, I'm gonna hit wireless speakers. Plug the cord into the wireless speakers and power the outlet, okay? Then I'm gonna hit the okay button. Hit continue. So when it's selected, I was waiting a little bit, you gotta hit the okay button to put a check box. See how there's a check mark up there now in that top left, now hit the okay. Now hit the right arrow and the continue is highlighted. Now hit the center button. So where do you want to position these? I'm going to position them in the rear eventually, but I'm going to do, oh look, you can, you can add two front and two rear speakers. Interesting, you can buy two more of these. So let's just do only two front speakers. If you want to put them in the back, you would just put two rear speakers, but that, that's interesting, you can buy Two, another set of these and put, so this thing can support four remote speakers. So only two front speakers. Okay, I'm hitting the center okay button. Yep. That's the front left speaker, I heard it. And then that, I hear it coming out of that speaker. So I'm gonna press yes. So now it's all done. Okay, so now let's do the same. I got the subwoofer on the floor over here. Let's do the same thing for the subwoofer. Press and hold the home button for five seconds. It should bring up a special menu. There it is. Now I'm gonna scroll down, hit wireless subwoofer. Click the enter button. Make sure it's got a check marks, check marks in the box. Hit the right arrow and then hit continue. So it's updating the subwoofer. So this one actually does have an update. Okay, so it plays a really loud bass sound. So I gotta say, do you hear the sound? Yes, and my dog does too. Hit the enter button, all done. Okay, so setup was pretty simple. So now let's do some comparisons. I really like to watch a, um, a Tom Cruise movie. Okay, so first, I'm just gonna watch one of my coffee maker videos, but it sounds really good. I can control the volume. And I had a viewer ask me what the, 
What was the difference between the 301, the 300, and the 201? It gets really loud. I didn't loud. know there was a 300. Originally, I thought... Okay, so for me, to check a, a sound system, this just dates back to when uh, Circuit City was around, and I first heard a surround sound for the very first time. It was Days of Thunder, and it was right around this scene when they're at Phoenix, Arizona, the 14 minute and 37 second mark. This is absolutely phenomenal soundtrack here with a lot of bass, a lot of depth. It's gonna give your sound system a really, really good test. Now, I can't play this for you with each one, but I'm gonna watch it and compare the two and see how it does. Okay, so listening to it, it had a little bit of subwoofer, but not very much. So let's go back to the home page, scroll down to settings. There's a few settings we can, let's try to change. Scroll down to audio, hit the right arrow, sound mode. Let's go bass boost. Let's try that now. Okay, so increasing that extra bass, that did help quite a bit. It doesn't necessarily, you get a little bit more bass, I think, out of the speakers. The subwoofer is just okay. I wish it was a little bit more thumpy. Okay, so I've been flipping back and forth between my Yamaha receiver and the Roku. So I'm pleasantly surprised that the Roku is doing really good. Now, the Roku sub could be just a little bit more um, and the lower range of the frequency, kind of like the deeps, not necessarily a subwoofer sub, but like a sound, but definitely the lower range seems to be lacking just a little bit. But this thing is starting, it's actually keeping up with the Yamaha receiver and the Clips speakers, which are about twice as expensive as what I've got in the Roku stuff. Increasing that subwoofer sound did help quite a bit. Um, again, it's it definitely, it's definitely uh, really, really good. I was, I'm very, very pr impressed. The sound bar did not sound very good at all. It definitely needs at least two speakers. I'm probably going to add another set of wireless speakers for the back. And that subwoofer is really nice. So if you've got the other Roku stream bar, uh, it connects the same way to it also. You hit the home button for five seconds, and, and if you have a Roku TV, it connects to a Roku TV also. So I'm definitely going to give this a good recommendation. Um, it's going to be a little bit easier to use. You're not going to have to switch inputs now. It's got an audio return channel, so I don't have to switch inputs for the um, Yamaha receiver, which can get, get kind of complicated. If you want to see my setup on how I set the, the sound bar up, check that video out. I show you how I set, hook the HDMI cable up to the TV and how the audio return channel works. So thanks everybody for watching. I would say it's about a 80% there with what they've got going on right now. It would be nice to have a little bit bigger subwoofer. So thanks everybody for watching.